Welcome back to my channel. Today in front of me, I have a Dollar Tree haul. I'm about to show y'all what I got. Ran in the other day for some shipping supplies and I found some really cute spring stuff. I started looking and then I got inspired. I'm going to combine some of these Dollar Tree items with some thrifted items I found previously and we are going to create some beautiful high-end spring decor. As I flip these items today, you'll see me use paint and products. You'll be able to find those paint products and the flips over on my website, upcycledbybreed.com. I'll also link that down below for you as well. I don't do a ton of Dollar Tree DIYs, but there are a few staples from the Dollar Tree that I always enjoy. Now prices have gone up to $1.25. So my list of things that I got there has gotten smaller and there's another store here in town called the family dollar i'm going to check it out next time i'll show you the boring stuff first just in case you're curious i love these unstoppables they just smell so good dryer sheets i needed an extra toothbrush and toothbrush holders i did some spring cleaning this weekend and went in and completely took everything out of my bathroom cabinets cleaned disinfected got rid of old makeup and whatnot feels so good. <laughs> I could not find my pin when I was there, so I bought some pins. Red Sharpie for shipping. I did not have any tongs, and uh, this was an impulse buy. These need washed, but they are oven mitts. How convenient, right? I've seen the silicone ones before, but these are like little claw ones. The only thing I'm worried about is the knuckles. You still gotta watch the knuckles. <laughs> You already had one. Stinks. These towels are in the kitchen section and I always snag them up for a dollar twenty-five now. And they're good for cleaning and for crafting. I needed new Tupperwares. Mine always seem to just disappear. It's strange. I got a couple of the little meal portion containers because I'm actually going to have some pictures done here in a couple of weeks. So I'm trying to tighten up the old nutrition. And I got a big old jug of water because I am trying I have to drink more, and as you can see, I am struggling. I want to see my favorite candy. It's a toss up. Berries and peaches, as far as sweet stuff goes. Chocolate, it's a whole other story. All right, now we can look at some of the more fun stuff. These, I, I told myself I wasn't going to do any egg DIYs this year because the ones I did last year didn't sell. But then I found these and they were in the little cardboard carton and the cardboard carton got me. They're tied up with the twine. There were colorful ones and these gold ones. I grabbed the gold ones because I figured they would be easier to paint over. So we are going to do some high-end egg carton farmhouse DIYs. Y'all, I was inspired to do some farm fresh looking eggs. I'm using DIY White Swan and some of this pigment powder from Debbie's Lab. Now this pigment powder is not available for resale, but I'm doing a giveaway. All you have to do is share this video, leave a comment down below with a heart emoji, and I'm going to pick a winner next week. There will be more details on my Facebook page. Make sure you're following me there. That link is down below as well. All you do is mix the pigment powder in with the paint and give it a good stir. Now it does make the paint a little bit thicker, which was perfect for these eggs. I picked the gold color. I thought they would be easy to cover. There is a hole in the bottom, so I like to poke them with a skewer and stick them in the foam to dry. This makes painting a little bit easier. I'm using my Klingon brushes. I love these brushes because they leave less brush strokes than most of the brushes I use. But this is a clay-based paint, so y'all, I did get texture on these eggs. I'm okay with that. If you don't want the texture, you might want to use a paint that isn't as thick. I had a request recently to use Extra Bond, which is a Sweet Pickens product with DIY paint. You can see the white wasn't covering very well, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity. I tried it two ways. First off, I am applying the bond straight to the plastic egg. 
Bond is an additive you usually add to a milk paint that helps it adhere to surfaces other than wood. In this cup, I added the paint and stirred the bond in and used it as a combined product. And you can see it made it thicker and it made it apply a lot better. So the answer is yes, you can use Sweet Pickens Bond with DIY paint and it works very well. For my last farm fresh egg color, I'm doing DIY apothecary mixed in with a little bit of white swan to give kind of that green farm fresh egg. Here are my three colors. What do y'all think? Do they look like farm fresh eggs? And of course, like I said, you can see the paint texture, but I'm okay with that. Now grabbing my decrepit dust and my DIY clear wax, I wanna give some age to these cardboard uh, containers here. I love the DIY wax. It is super buttery smooth and easy to work with, so I know it'll absorb into this cardboard well. I'm just mixing a little bit of wax with a little bit of dust and brushing it onto my cardboard, making it look like these have been dirty old egg cartons that have been used over and over by the farmer. I'm going to glue some of the Spanish moss down into a couple of the egg cups. I'm using my Arvit glue gun and this is new to me. I really have been enjoying it. It's cordless which makes it super convenient to use and it is high temperature so it holds really well. I will link it down in the description box below if you're in the market for a new glue gun too. Drop me a comment below, do you think I took these Dollar Tree eggs and made them look like high-end decor? Notice how I've paired them with items that you would not find in the usual Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. All of these items have either been thrifted or found, especially the greenery and some of the wood items I have handmade as well. Now the greenery and some of these candlesticks will be available on my site. I'm putting all of this in. I grab it from the Dollar Tree. I did like this though and like I said I'm nervous so I went ahead and picked it up. This has got some pretty little fernery, fernery, <laughs> pretty little fern greenery and then they're calling these roses. Um, there's three different colors that I saw there, pink and like yellow and purple. The faux succulents every year. Um, this year they had some different ones. So in the past they've always had these little black pots um, and I grab a couple of different styles of them. This one's covered in glitter. Grab a couple of different ones. Blossom Plant Seeds of Love. There were some other colors too, but I liked the green ones the best and I think they look even more realistic than some of the older ones. But I love doing spring DIYs with these and the little miniature clay pots. So I always grab a few of these at the beginning of the season because they usually go pretty quick. So I ran to the thrift store with greenery in mind and I did find this lovely gym And it's pretty clean too. So seven, oops, seven ninety five was the price on it. But I do always have a thirty percent off coupon um, that I can use. So uh, let's see. Okay, eight, eight, so I paid about five fifty for it. I'll be able to um, repaint this. The feet will be pretty, and then I definitely got my money's worth in greenery. These are gonna go. So. Carefully take all of this greenery apart. This was really clean and ready to use. If it was dusty, I could have washed it with some warm water and Dawn dish soap. Now I'm going in with some white wax and some dark decrepit dust on this first little terracotta pot. This is a faster process than painting them and I think it gives a mo more authentically old look. The wax soaks into the terracotta beautifully and then the decrepit dust is literally a dust that will adhere to the wax. Now if these were going to go outside, this isn't waterproof wax by any means, but for inside decor, this is going to stay perfectly. If you did take it outside, I think it would age really cool naturally over time. On the second pot here, I did dark wax and white dust. 
So I like to mix and match and kind of try different textures and finishes. They ended up looking pretty similar in the end, but it was fun to play around. Now I'm just going to glue in some floral foam and start adding in my greenery, a little Spanish moss, one of the Dollar Tree succulents, and some of my thrifted floral. This is what I mean by combining Dollar Tree items with thrifted finds to create beautiful high-end decor. What do y'all think? Would you imagine I bought this stuff secondhand or from the Dollar Tree? Or would you think this came from a high-end boutique? Leave me a comment below. Kind of content you like, be sure to check that little subscribe button down there in the corner and the bell that's next to it. That way YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. The biggest help for me right now is if you would share this video with a friend who you think may like it as well. That's going to help my channel grow and help me bring you more amazing content. And then in the garden section, I went ahead and grabbed a frog and a gnome. I want to go ahead and cement these. I passed on these and then I went back because I feel like I'm going to see them on some hauls and I would have regretted not getting them. There were two different colors. I liked this teal and silver a lot better, but I plan on breaking them apart and using them for um, wreaths. I am in Kansas, so windmills are... I am in Kansas, so windmills are an actual thing here. And then, of course, the little welcome one can be used on um, another craft. And they're pretty flimsy, so I know those will pop right off. I am so mad I could only find one of these. Look, they're called decorative lids, but they're flower frog lids for mason jars. And if I would have seen more, I would have grabbed more. See how they're put together there is actually kind of giving me a DIY idea for them. Add a couple more bags of moss, and then the two things I went there for originally craft paper, and bubble wrap to ship. I hope y'all got some good inspiration about how you can combine some lower cost items with some thrifted items and make some gorgeous home decor. Don't forget to check out my new for spring 2022 collection down in the description box below. And until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye friends. I found from the Dollar Tree. my channel. I am sitting in my living room right now because I am bringing to you today a huge dollar and sign. You want one of these sticks? Okay. Here, come up here on your blankie. There you go. Welcome. No, stay up there with it so you don't get my pillows gross. No. No, right now. No. Oh, okay. Can you take it on the dark blanket? Please. They take it on the dark blanket. Ugh.